Well, right here on Dixon Farm, it's a sixth generation farm right now. It's 1800 and something when they bought this piece of land. It'd be my daddy's great, great grandfather. He was a Native American and he bought it back then before the slaves were free and stuff. We farm tobacco, sweet potatoes, corn, and soybeans. And tobacco and sweet potatoes are our two main crops. Right now is our critical time curing these tobacco borns and stuff. And most times if a hurricane or lights come out or electric, they usually watch out for the farmers and get your power back as soon as possible and stuff. Like um, we bought a generator to um, try to help us out and stuff. But most of the time in less than a day or two hours, it's back going. My dad, I remember hearing dad said, when they first moved over here, they didn't have no power and that. And they used to stay about 100 yards from where we're standing at. And uh, he used to tell us how they used to put the milk in the ditch to keep cool and stuff, and how they used to heat water. And then when they first got power, I believe the first thing they got was electric well. I grew up with most of everybody at Oriole Electric. It's like they family. I and mean, when, when you call, most of the time everybody know you. I could go in there and pay the bill, everybody know me. <laughs> I love the co-op and what I experienced going to meetings in other places, how there's different power companies are, I believe I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had nothing to complain about Oreo Electric. I am Oreo Electric, I am the co-op.